Hey guys, here's Louie. So, on the next repair on the 1968 Firebird, Lovebird over here, is going to be this panel right here. So this is the new replacement panel. And that's how it looks at the bottom. And this one happens to be from Classic Industries, which is really interesting because I bought it from Summit. But anyway, these going to run you a little over $100. I would say just to be safe, maybe between $150 and $120 for the left side and the right side. This one happens to be the left side. All right. It's going to be my first time I ever had to replace this whole piece right here. But I am confident that I could do it. So, here it is. All right. And this one is really chewed out really bad. And look what you see here. I don't know if you guys can see it, and I hope you can see it. But that is the lower fender bolt stuck because of rust, grime, Everything that it clues for 50 something years sitting there. All right. So I guess the previous owner could not remove the bolt and he just broke the head off or snapped off and he left it like that. Then this was cut from somebody else, I guess, when they was installing these rockers. Because these rockers was installed on the car when I received the car. I did have to move them. And they were spot weld. Okay, they made these holes. I didn't and I had to break it loose and play around with the adjustment. Um, forward and going back. I, sorry, I did not make a video of that. But I did have to play with it. And to also to make the adjustments that I have the video of the... First um, generation F body convertible measurements. If you're building one, there is a video out there that I did. I had to play with all of this so I can have the proper measurements. So my plan of attack will be, I know she's secure here and she's not gonna move or the corner of the windshield is not, should not dip down on. And I also have the car braced, all right? So she's strong. So I don't need to remove these, but I do need to remove, I will say, this one and these, all right? This is in good shape. This A pillar here is in great shape. You guys know that the passenger side, there was something funky around there going, and I fixed it. But um, this one is in great shape. And I'm going to start here on the other side. I might have to go a little further up. But over here, I will cut and just continue the line that whoever did it. Because it's actually good from this point up. So I just want to remove the bad. All right. Just because, just because the panel comes with the complete metal all the way up to there. So you see that edge there. Doesn't mean you need to cut this whole piece from here down. No, I'm going to try to stick right here and cut from here down. So now I have marked over here where I am going to cut. All right. There you go. That's the piece I will cut off. And... Over here, you see that I cleaned off the paint, and I also did it to this side. That was to, um, if I could see the plug wells, that was there from factory. All right, and this is the tool I use. I love these abrasive um, paint stripping disc. I bought them on eBay about two years ago, something like that. And you just hook them up to your four and a half inch grinder here. And they work excellent. All right. I might even use that one to clean up the firewall when I'm ready to paint it again. So now I will use the cutoff wheel and start cutting here. 
Now remember there there is metal behind here you do not want to disturb. All right? There is bracing, there's a lot of different things there that you do not want to disturb, okay? And there's a piece of metal coming down from the A pillar that I will be welding the rocker to it and there are plug welds from factory. I'm going to do and take the same approach like um Jonathan at Vinyl Village Garage. He plug welded and he also seam welded to that bracket. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And my book is even stronger. So let me continue with this repair here. All right, guys, here it is. Cut out. That's still the original part to the rocker, the outer rocker that was there from factory. I need to take that out. Need to take out the remainder of it. Clean this part real nice and clean. This gets plug weld from this side. So I'm in here, down. All right, I'm gonna do that. And I'm also going to weld it around here to the car. To the outer rocker, it just makes it stronger. And I'll bring you guys back. When that's done, I need to clean everything here and spray some, some paint there. So this is the original, and I put it right on top of the new one. And I will trace it out, cut it, and weld it to the car. Just take your time as you cut, all right? So here I use my angle grinder here. I use this grinder, this air grinder. I use the air hammer to chisel the original spot welds. All right, and I will start cleaning here also because it needs to be nice, clean metal for when I'm going to weld. All right, guys, I want to share this with you, which I think is really important when you are trying to do this repair here, which is your lower door jam, A pillar. All right, this one was rotted out, as you guys can see here, and I showed in the earlier video. This one's in really rough shape, but we have the new one here, all right? And I'm just fitting the front to back adjustment, all right? So front to rear and in or out. And of course, let me explain this. This is supposed to get welded from factory, plug welded to the rocker panel in here going in and I'm just making sure that the mounting bolts for the lower fender on both of them so you have one towards the rear of the car and one towards the front of the car I am making sure 100% before I weld this in that she's spot on all right and that's why I brought the fender out from my shed outside into the garage if I could get the proper fitment okay of the fenders I don't want to weld it and at the end of the project I found out that she's not aligned so these are the steps you guys have to take to be 100% sure now this panel here is for the passenger side this is an original lower panel for a fender which is an original fender came off an original fender so the fender was rotted and this was saved from it which is still very solid even the bracing in the back is amazing how in good shape that is it was cut so it could serve purpose of being used in the future right so this is what i'm talking about your mounting bolts and it's as simple as 12 inches. So I have a ruler here, 12 inches, one foot, of course. And what I do is I measure from center to center. So let's put that here for you guys can know what exactly I am talking about. From center of the mounting bolt to center of the mounting bolts are your 12 inches. I did it already and it's spot on. All right, and this is the important part. So that's where the A pillar is going down. All right. And 
this is gonna get, this is gonna get pretty much like this mounted on the car I'm just trying to show you guys all right and you want to make sure that hole right there for the for the bolt is lined up and you see how she's in the center of the mounting bolt well you need to know the one you're about to repair which is this one and the one that's going to go on the front that is attached to the rockers are exactly 12 inches apart for when you bolt your fender you don't have no issues and also from factory there's a very small gap here on this panel really small gap here which they usually seam sealed so i'm trying to get it exactly back to original all right guys so the repair here is done your lower door jam you could buy this panel there's one right here that's the way it looks okay and like i said already so you will have two plug wells here a plug well there make sure she fits nice and tight all right you're gonna have a little gap here which is from factory okay that is from factory i have one more plug well to go here i have to drill a hole there but she's pretty much in i already did some grinding any little pinholes that i could visually see i'll hit it again with the welder anything that i cannot see i will fill up with a little um fiberglass um filler the waterproof stuff and i'll sand it down whatever will will stay is because it filled up a pinhole but yeah i just need to do a repair here to the cow to the lower cow but i am happy i was able to do another repair on the firebird and like i said from this mounting hole down here right here where your fender is your fender gets bolted here and at the front over here remember so i have a panel here which is a lower uh fender patch panel and it's 12 inches you guys can see the mounting hole matches there on the front and it also matches right there 12 inches is from center you see where i split the line right here with the mario marker and center to here all right I also marked it here with the marker center to center of mounting hole and you should not have a problem all right doing this at all this repair well guys until next time stay tuned more videos to come i did um get the floor i i picked up the whole complete floor here the trunk floor, the rear frame rails. I'm only missing the passenger side of the rear frame rails, but I'm going to see if the order don't come in soon enough. I will have to buy it from somebody else. Guys, pretty soon the floor will be installed on this car. And once I do that, I'm going to move into the inner and outer wheel houses and then do the quarter panels. Stay tuned now. Bye-bye.